Mount Santusia's crater rim has been completely redone, as you can kind of get a hint of that this is really dark and this is rather light, and there seems to be some odd seams in here if you look closely enough. Why is that? Easy. Hey, what do you know? Looks like they have different parallax effects going on there. That's actually because of one thing. I've made it so that the Z positions are dynamic. They vary. And the crater rim goes up uh, quite a bit more than it used to. And in addition, you can see even more visible of it. Why is this right here really, really dark when this sun here is really bright? Easy. Instead of right in here where the sun angle is pretty much heading straight on, it's going off at a screwy angle like that. So it's a lot darker. There's not as enough as much light getting to it. But as you can see here from this glide, you, it's, well, you can see the parallax effects. Yep, dynamic Z position changes. It's pretty neat. And if I really crank up the speed and for a massive fall like this, it becomes apparent on the Y axis too. Pretty neat design, isn't it? It's one of the things that I've been wanting to do on Mount Santusia for a while. That was nice. Boing. There is another change that I've made, though. What is that change? Of course, up here you're really not missing out on anything. That change involves Maglev Train. Yeah, the video is a bit on jerkier, but that's because uh, ever since I went to Windows 7, which I now am using, yes, Platform Resters works in Windows 7, but there's a massive frame rate drop that I'm noticing in pretty much everywhere. It's not bad here, but it's worse elsewhere. I'll get to that in a little bit. But just so you know, the change that I made involving this world involves those cars right there. These hydrogen cars. They're tank cars. I'm still thinking of probably making another variant of these. Just a different kind of liquid fuel of some sort. Or liquid of any kind. But instead of the original design that I had, they're now got curved edges, which actually makes a lot more sense. What's with these odd lines up here? Easy. It's actually because I'm expecting you to be able to walk around on this but I also didn't want to have the odd collision for this weird area right in here. Plus, in a way, it also kind of makes sense. So if you're climbing up here to get onto the top for doing whatever, you have this as a kind of a safety system. That's really about the only difference. I do need to go by and change all the trains, but other than just that, everything else is no different. Yeah, there's this train over here as well. Yep, these have been changed. So, what's this about the really bad frame rate? Everything's all nice and smooth now, but it's really getting bad. I have someone else now working on these trees, so that's going to be addressed very soon. Yeah, I bumped the microphone, sorry about that. But, you want a bad frame rate. Oh boy. And yes, I'm recording this at 30 frames per second. But yeah, this is really bad. Windows XP was not having this low frame rate problem. If you're noticing here, it's 5, and this seems to be stepping by about 0 0.09 or something, so it's about 11.3 frames per second, as far as I can tell that I'm getting. Yeah, 11.3 frames per second. To activate bounce, you jump, you have to be in midair, and you press down twice when you're in midair. It works there, okay. It sometimes works. Hey, what do you know? Yeah, it took all that many tries to finally get it to work. Of course, I walk over the platform, the edge of it, because, well, the control is really, really bad when the frame rate drops. That's because I don't know how to separate the keyboard controls from the rest of the stuff. However, if you really go up when the rain isn't visible and stuff like that, well, guess what happens to the frame rate? Wow, all of a sudden it's so nice and smooth. But this isn't the only world that's got that. Oh no. Just so you know, this is ultra fast, okay? Now, you're probably familiar with Nadara Highlands having the same precipitation. 
It's not quite as bad, but it's still pretty bad. At least the controls are more responsive. Yeah, my voice from my colds hasn't recovered yet and couldn't bounce again. Just so you know, watch the menu. I'm pressing down. This should be really fast, but it isn't. That's because, again, I'm having frame rate problems. All because Windows 7 just doesn't want to work properly. For a simple world like this one, well, of course it's going to be fast. And bring up the same menu for the changed world. Hey, what do you know? It's back to the normal speed. So, yeah, it's something weird with Windows 7 is causing an 85 to 90 percent performance drop. Yeah, it's not very friendly, I'll tell you. But there is a way around that. And I've really been looking into SDL for my fifth attempt at it. And I'm pretty much going to have no choice but to migrate to SDL in order to do this. Of course, SDL, from what I'm getting, is going to offer a lot more advantages as well. Try taking off another 10 megabytes from this memory usage. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Remember Carnivalesta? Well, it too gets the frame rate problems. It's not really all that bad, but the video is still kind of jerky because of the low frame rate. Of course, if I get away from all the stuff in the lower area, hey, what do you know? I'm no longer getting drop frames. And another one that's pretty bad, this is the third worst of them, and that's the Santos Caverns. Really nothing special here, to some extent in a way. Bouncy, bouncy. So, what else have I otherwise done? Well, that's really about it. Most of it's just focused on this particular world. Especially I love the way the crater rim comes along. Yep, I'm gonna go cook them. Cook them in some bubbly hot lava. But here you can easily see the parallax, and that's what this was intended for. So, this video was created by Ulalilia. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the parallax. That's what Platform Masters is best known for. And the next video I'll make will definitely be when I'm having, well, running SDL.